Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and the star of today's video and one of the biggest gainers in the electric vehicle sector this month, Lucid Group ticker symbol LCID has had an excellent start to September, up over 60% so far this month. And why has Lucid stock been outperforming? Well, partly because of their production preview week which is happening right now. So we're going to talk about what to expect this week, what implications this week could have on Lucid's stock price, and the most important catalyst remaining for Lucid this year. And it'll have something to do with what Rivian did. More on that in just a moment. But first, I wanted to let you know of an upcoming new Market Close live stream that we're putting together. The After Hours show will premiere on the first Monday in October. So I wanted to say a big thank you for all of the support and I hope to see all of you after the closing bell at 4 p.m. on Monday, October 4th. Now, let's talk about Lucid Group. Lucid's production preview week kicks off Tuesday, September 28th at its advanced manufacturing plant or what they call AMP-1. It's their factory in Arizona. It cannot be overstated enough how huge this event is for Lucid. They're expected to let invited guests, which includes members of the media and financial communities, policymakers, and a select group of customers, they'll be able to observe the production process for the Lucid Air and take a deep dive into Lucid's advanced electric vehicle technology with leading Lucid engineers. Guests will also have the opportunity to personally experience the Lucid Air on the road. People who are not Lucid employees. And I say that because I see a lot of comments that say it's only Lucid employees who have driven the Lucid Air. So what? even though the folks over at Motor Trend have driven it and reviewed it. But people not paid by Lucid will be able to ride and drive the Lucid Air. This will be a massive positive for Lucid stock. Once everyone who is able to ride and drive the Lucid Air starts to talk about their experiences, you're going to hear the media talk all week about Lucid Air. And you may even see articles with headlines comparing Lucid to Tesla. But the main story to take away from this is not the headline news, but the actual experiences of the people who got to ride and drive the Lucid Air. Because Lucid says they will see for themselves why Motor Trend recently called the Lucid Air, quote, an absolute mic drop in its exclusive first drive review. Those experiences will be the main driver for long-term growth in Lucid stock. Now, something else is happening during Lucid's production preview week. It's that Lucid is looking to transform itself from an EV startup to an electric vehicle manufacturer. Something that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said is a very hard transformation to make. Elon Musk said building a prototype is easy, but manufacturing, now that's hard. The transformation will prove to be a catalyst and command higher valuations for Lucid. As Lucid begins production of its flagship electric vehicle and prepares for its first deliveries later this year, Lucid stock should be able to attract more institutional investors. And that will be key for Lucid's success and transformation. Lucid's outperformance in recent weeks has also put Wall Street analysts on notice, with many assigning it a buy rating on considerations of innovation, innovative technology, attractive product, compelling brand, and impressive management team. And consistent with analyst expectations, production preview week and upcoming deliveries of the Lucid Air are expected to be catalysts that will send the stock on another rally. I mean, look, just in September, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, and Citigroup all initiated coverage on Lucid, with the highest price target being $30 a share. You can expect more analysts to start covering Lucid in the weeks and months to come. Now, 
we all know that Lucid achieved a record-breaking EPA range rating of 520 miles on a single charge. This also happened to be a catalyst for the stock last week. But what this really does is helps Lucid's transformation as it puts them one step closer to their goals and legitimizes the EV maker. If you could, smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and click subscribe to join our family of investors. Thank you, my friends, for doing that. Looking at Lucid's stock chart and the purple lines you see, we can clearly see a pattern over the last six months. The stocks start high, slowly bleed out, forming a symmetrical triangle, then reaches a nexus point where the stock breaks out, reaches resistance, and then you do it all over again. During this time period, looking at the black line, this is happening in a downtrend. But more recently, there's been two key developments. First is the pipe lockup period ending, meaning on September 1st, those early investors or pipe investors could now sell their shares if they wanted to, and many did, causing the stock to drop. When the stock market opened on September 1st, Lucid's stock price plummeted almost 19%. The night before, on August 31st, the stock closed at $19.93. And by the time the market opened the next day on September the 1st, the stock price was sitting at just $16.14, which was nearly a 19% drop, not just in the stock price, but also in Lucid's market cap. But savvy investors saw the gains coming and quickly engaged their capital to purchase Lucid shares. By the end of the week, Lucid stock price had regained every penny lost in the flash crash. Now, the second development is that on Lucid's second breakout, and that's on the second symmetrical triangle on the right side, it was able to gather enough momentum to push the stock price above the black line. Now, the black line has two different points of resistance. First is a trend line resistance, and this line is in a downtrend. And second is the price point resistance of $27.50. Now, the most recent time Lucid investors tried to break that trend line resistance, was on Monday, September 27th, and it failed to break through. Getting rejected just shows how these lines can be respected and the importance of knowing where these lines are so you don't get caught buying or selling at the wrong time. For the remainder of this week, watch Lucid's stock chart. When you look for a breakout above the trend line and above the price resistance line, you want to look for volume to also increase. If volume is increasing as price reaches the trend line and price line resistance, then you have a good chance of a breakthrough of those resistance lines. So keep an eye out for volume and those resistance lines. Now, with everything I mentioned in this video, my outlook on Lucid remains bullish. This week will create a lot of positive press, and then the biggest catalyst remaining for Lucid this year will be the first customer-bound delivery to roll off the production line. Just like Rivian's blue R1T was driven off the production line in the first customer-bound delivery. Also this week, watch out for any headline, any news about production dates. That will be very important. The second important thing to watch out for are delivery dates. If we hear those two items mentioned and there are firm dates assigned, the stock will continue to rally. What do you think of Lucid Group and its production preview week? And I'd love to know what other stocks are you interested in and you would like to see me cover. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.